just pulled that coin out of the hole. There's another one. Hope you guys are having a great day in the life. I'm out doing a little adventuring at a Civil War encampment I've been at um, several times before, but I've moved off to a separate part of the field. Way up over that hill is where I usually hunt. So I thought I'd come over here over the back side. I have the Amphibio today, and going to do a little hunting with it and talk maybe a little bit about why the Amphibio might be a good upgrade for you if you're using the simplex so let's get out here do a little hunting and we'll talk about the amphibio as we go well this was a uh, strange signal i had switched to three tone here on the amphibio and it was kind of a strange signal there's a lot of iron in here but it was ringing up giving me like a nice little squeak i've been flipping around with the shovel in these roots and i just flipped this out. I hope I didn't hit it with the shovel because that is a button. Um, it still has the shank, so that's good news. Um, I'm going to assume this is an eagle button because of all of the eagle buttons I've found in here before. It's just a question of whether it has an eye on it or not. So we'll maybe give it a little clean in here and uh, see what we come up with. I'm gonna have to set the camera down though because this is the phone, so let's set the camera down for just one sec. Nope, just a regular eagle. Just a uh, regular eagle button. I can see the shield there, but that is excellent. That makes me happy. It's been a long time since I've pulled an eagle button out of this field. An eagle button just doesn't get much better than that. So the Amphibio doing a great job in here today. I've been over this with the Simplex. I know my buddy Frank has been in here with uh, E-Track, I believe. So, hey man, this one was like right in the obvious. So definitely been over it before. And there you go patience and persistence and the amphibio with the big coil picking it out so really briefly I wanted to touch on um, some reasons you might want to step up to the amphibio from the simplex now I'm actually doing a whole video comparing the simplex and the amphibio which uh, should be up soon, and if it is up, I will put a link up here for that video. But, at any rate, today I wanted to touch on it briefly, because I know there's a lot of people who just enjoy these metal detecting videos. So, some reasons you might want to upgrade to the Amphibio. While they are very similar machines as far as um, some of the different features that they have, they have the wireless headphones and the backlight, some other things like that. The Amphibio has many, many more internal features that you can set and change to your liking. For instance, you can change the break point of the tone. Um, you can change all sorts of different features. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different modes. Um, and you guys won't be able to see this really because of the glare, but... Um, We've got a lot more settings here and more settings over here. So basically, the Amphibio is going to offer you a wider range of adjustments and, in fact, a little more depth if you're hunting in thicker fields or stubble, things like that. So that's just a kind of brief overview of some reasons you might want to choose the Amphibio. And again, I'll go into that deeper in a future video, but basically the simplex is going to achieve very similar depth um, I think to the amphibio although the amphibio does win out a little bit um, 
But with that said, I think the simplex is close on depth. Where this amphibio is going to win out is going to be in these deeper uh, relic type locations and for uh, more serious type relic hunting applications. Although there may be instances where you indeed prefer the simplex. It's a lighter machine and it's easier to get in and scout. So it's kind of up to the hunter as to what they prefer. Although again, as you can see today, I'm in this field relic hunting. I'm using the Amphibio because I feel like I do get a bit more depth and a bit more options in case I run into some different scenarios with hot ground, interference, things like that. I have a little bit more capability to overcome those issues with the Amphibio. So that's just a real brief and dirty. I just got a great signal here with the Amphibio and I almost didn't, you know, I didn't think it would be anything. Started digging and look at that. Some sort of charm bracelet. Uh, it appears to be made of silver coins. Although I can't quite tell how old they are yet. That looks to be British. I'm not sure. I don't want to rub them too terribly much. But, uh, how cool is that? Yeah, those appear to be British. Wish I could find a date. Uh, how cool. Maybe the date's on this side. I'm not sure. I've... I've never really seen a coin like that. Oh, how cool. I'm going to hunt the rest of this hillside pretty good. I found what a minute ago, I think it's a silver button because of the way it was ringing and uh, the way it looked when it came out of the ground. I don't know why this camera's having a hard time. I don't know. It may not be silver, but sure sounded silver these are most definitely silver i'm gonna see if there's some more in the ground but uh man that sounded great to the amphibio cha-ching well i don't i don't have my pin pointer but i think right here is another coin from our little necklace or charm and kind of get it out of the sun but yeah, it's another silver coin. Awesome. It sounded really good. I'm hoping the whole thing's going to be here. So hopefully we'll get a couple more silver coins here. Keep digging. Amphibio's getting it. I just pulled that coin out of the hole. There's another one. So let's see if we can find this one. I left my pinpointer in the car, unfortunately. Of course, right when I could use it more than ever, digging silver coins. Not really what I expected in this. It's a Civil War camp I'm in, but I'm telling why these silver coins are in here. It's in my hand. Looks like it right there. No. Okay. Uh, is that it? Yeah. No. Ah. Just drop it. There it is. Another one. I don't know what that is. 1895 three cent piece probably from England maybe cool it's from the 1800s those are gonna be nice let's keep digging we're running out of daylight uh, hopefully we can get a whole charm bracelet full of them maybe put it back together awesome 
Give me your goodness. That's five of them. Oh man, there's another one. I just stood up from that last clip. Okay, let's keep digging. Golly, my cameras. It's hard to use this here cellular phone as a camera. Sorry, I'm not a practice stoner. And I'm a little anxious to keep digging and try and get this whole thing out. So let's see what else is in here. Well, we're liable to have the whole thing right in here. So, uh, man, I wish I had a way to hold you guys and keep digging. Okay, well that one's in my hand, so. There it is. Excellent. That one seems a little smaller. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna keep digging. Well, I reckon that is it for uh, the coin bracelet spill. I searched pretty hard up there. It's all on this kind of steep hill, so pretty tough searching. I may give it another go on my way back up the hill just to be sure, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Seven silver coins from the 1800s, so I haven't cleaned them all up, but I think they all look pretty similar. It looks like these three cent pieces, although I can't tell if that's what they all are yet. Sorry, it's, again, this camera phone I'm not used to, but uh, anyway, look to be maybe English or Spanish or I don't know. Maybe you guys know. I'll know when I get home. We'll uh, put a little link and show them a little cleaned up. And we'll uh, maybe try and string these back together at some point. I know it was sort of a short hunt without a whole lot of finds, but we did get some good finds today. Um, we got the silver coin bracelet, a couple mini balls, an eagle button, and actually a couple glass bottles as well that I thought were interesting. So a great day of adventure for me out of the house. I'm not getting so many days out of the house right now because of the dog situation, but Another great day out with the Amphibio. If you're interested in getting yourself an Amphibio, make sure and follow the links below in the video description and input the code BIRDDOG at checkout. You can get a nice little discount. And actually, if you follow that link and use the code BIRDDOG at the website there, you can get a discount on anything you're looking for for your metal detecting needs. So be sure and take advantage of that. Save a little money in these crazy times. Stay safe in these crazy times. Hope you had a great day in the life. And we'll see you next time.